Okay, and on to parts integration. And as the title suggests, this is when we're looking to integrate two parts into ourselves. Now, very often someone will say that part of them wants X and the other part wants Y. And for many people, this can create a great internal conflict inside. Really, the most important part of working with any parts conflict with somebody is to identify what is the highest positive intention behind each of those two parts. Now, I'm going to really encourage you to listen to the language used during this demonstration to work out how you do that with someone. Now, it's important to point out again that this is just one example of parts integration. There are many different ways to do this. And whatever way you find to take this technique and adapt it to your environment will be right for you. So Liz, thank you for agreeing to do the parts integration process with us. Okay. okay, just tell me a little bit about this kind of this conflict that you're mentioning to me, what these kind of two parts might be about. Okay, yes, it's something going on at home and I'm uh, kind of torn between um, helping somebody with something, somebody in my family and basically just leaving well alone or not getting involved. Oh, okay. Okay. And you want to, these are kind of like two parts that are in conflict, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we can do with this process, the parts integration process, is we can, in essence, we can kind of bring these two parts together so that they're part of the, the one whole, which is kind of better for our neurology, okay? okay? They can kind of come back together and join our nervous system as one whole. Okay. Okay. So for the purposes of this process, I'm going to ask you to do is to kind of have your hands just out in front of you, okay? Just so they're nice and comfortable, mm -hmm. okay? Perfect. Okay. And first of all, I just would like to, um, <coughs> just for you to decide which part of you that, that, that wants to leave well alone, which hand do you think that part might like to come out onto? Mm, this one. That one? Okay. Mm -hmm. So just when you're ready, you can just ask that part, just when it's ready, that wants to leave well alone, just to allow it just to come out onto your hand. And when it does that, can you just tell me what it looks like? It's a ball. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We're going to come back to the, that part and that ball in a moment. Mm -hmm. Just going to have a look at this hand here now. Just ask that other part, that part that wants to get involved, just mm -hmm. ask that part to come out just when it's ready. And when it does, can you just tell me what it looks like? It's a book. It's a book. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to have a chat to this part here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one over here with the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the purpose of this part for Liz? What's this part doing for Liz? Um, keeping the peace. It's keeping the peace, okay. And so when that part's kind of keeping the peace, for what purpose does it want to do that for Liz? Um, to not cause conflict. Okay. So when it's keeping the peace and it's not causing conflict, for what purpose does it want to do that? To keep me happy. Happy. Okay. So for what purpose does it want to keep Liz happy? Because that's a good way to be. Okay. Yeah. That's right. It is. And so when it's keeping happy, because that's a good way to be, for what purpose does it want to do that? What does that do for Liz? Um, it keeps her calm. Okay. Keeps her calm. 
it keeps her happy and it keeps her calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to come back to this part shortly. So a word with this part here. Okay, this this part that looks like the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the part that wants to get involved. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so just curious, for what purpose does this part want to get involved? Um, to help. Okay. And so for what purpose does it want to help? Um, to to show I care. Okay. And so when Liz is showing that she cares, for what purpose does she do that? Um, to make her happy. Okay, makes her happy. Okay. And so for what purpose does Liz be happy? For what purpose? What does that do for her when she's happy? Uh, keeps her okay. Um, keeps me calm. Okay, calm and happy. Okay. And so this part is working for Liz, and its highest intention for Liz is to keep her happy and calm. Mm -hmm. And this part over here, as we look at this part here, it's also keeping Liz happy and calm. Mm -hmm. And we can start to notice how actually these two parts are actually working with the same goal. Mm -hmm. And that actually they have the same drive, they want the same things. And when they realize that, sometimes they like to come together. Do you notice that your hands have started to move together? Mm. And they can have that happiness, and they can have that calm, and they can have even more of it when they work together. And they can allow themselves, just when they're ready, just to integrate slowly together You can just notice what you can see when that happens. That's right. They can just come together and work together for Liz. Mm, that's right. Sometimes we can just bring those two parts all the way in. Mm -hmm. They can have both of them working for us. Well done. Okay, thank you.